Hi boys and girls, today we'll be learning about pumpkins. We're going to learn about the parts of a pumpkin and the life cycle of a pumpkin. Remember when we learned about apples? I hope you remember because we'll be hearing a lot of the same words about pumpkins that we heard when we learned about apples. Let's get started. First, we'll learn about the parts of a pumpkin. Here's a nice big orange pumpkin. I think you've seen a pumpkin before. The first part is the stem. Just like an apple, a pumpkin also has a stem. The stem of a pumpkin is much bigger though. Next, a pumpkin has skin, just like an apple. But the skin of a pumpkin is orange, usually. Next are the ribs. The ribs are these lines going up and down the pumpkin. They go all the way around. Here's the inside of a pumpkin. There's the stem again and the skin. And look, we have seeds. Seeds in a pumpkin are white and they're about the size of your fingernail. Remember when we learned about apples, Apples only had five seeds and they were shaped like a star. In a pumpkin, there's a lot of seeds. The next part is the pulp, or you can call it the flesh. Remember, an apple also had pulp. That was the part of the apple that we ate. We wouldn't eat this part of the pumpkin yet, but we could use it to bake something with the pumpkin. Here's the flesh or the pulp that goes all the way around. Next are the fibrous strands. And these are these long stringy things inside the pumpkin. They're very slimy if you touch them. Last is the blossom end. Remember, blossom means flower. A pumpkin, when it grows, does have a flower also, just like an apple. So that's where the flower dies and turns into a pumpkin. Next, we're going to learn about the life cycle of a pumpkin. Remember, life cycle means when something starts and how it grows all the way around into an adult and starts over again. So let's learn how a pumpkin grows. Pumpkins start as seeds. Remember, they're white and the size of your fingernail. Here's a boy planting seeds in the soil. Notice how he's putting the seeds in a nice straight line. We'll see why he does that soon. He'll cover the seeds with more soil. He'll give them water and the sun will help them grow into a pumpkin. After the seeds comes a sprout. A sprout is just a baby plant that pokes out of the dirt. The sprout will grow and grow and become a bigger plant. The plant will turn into a vine. The vine are these long stringy things underneath the plant where all the leaves are connected. Vines are very big and grow all over the ground. Next on the vine grows a flower. A flower is like a blossom that we learned about in the apple life cycle. A pumpkin flower is really pretty and yellow. The yellow flower will die and turn into a green pumpkin. If you notice at the bottom of this green pumpkin, you can see where there used to be the yellow flower, but now it's dead. You can also see that the green pumpkin is still connected to the vine because it's still growing. The green pumpkin keeps growing and turns into an orange pumpkin. Look at this picture over here. The orange pumpkin is still connected to the vine. The farmer has not cut it off yet. In this picture here, you can see the stem is cut off from the vine. So the farmer cut the pumpkin off the vine. Pumpkin harvest. Harvest means when a pumpkin is ready to be picked and go home with a family. When do you think is pumpkin harvest season? 
Look at the picture and get some clues. If you said fall, you're right. Pumpkin harvest season is in fall. You can tell that it's fall because of the way the trees have orange, yellow, and brown leaves and how there's leaves all over the ground too. Fall is when pumpkins are ready to be picked. In fall, you can go to the pumpkin patch with your family. A patch is a place where pumpkins grow, like a farm. Remember that boy that was planting the seeds in a nice straight line? Look at these pumpkins in the patch. They're also in nice straight lines because that's how the boy planted them. Why do you think the boy planted the pumpkins like that? I think it's so you can walk between the pumpkins to find your favorite one to take home. Pumpkin harvest season is when we go to the pumpkin patch with our friends and family to find the perfect pumpkin. Here's some friends at the pumpkin patch holding the pumpkins they found. If you get a really big pumpkin or too many pumpkins, you might have to get a wheelbarrow to hold your pumpkins. There's lots of different kinds of pumpkins, just like there was lots of different kinds of apples. Some pumpkins are tall and skinny. Some pumpkins are short and round. And some pumpkins even have bumps all over them. If you notice though, all of these pumpkins still have a stem, orange skin, and ribs going up and down the pumpkin. Pumpkins can also come in different colors. In this picture, I see orange pumpkins, some yellow pumpkins, white pumpkins, and green pumpkins. Pumpkins can also have stripes. Here's a white and orange striped pumpkin. And did you know pumpkins can even be blue? Look at that cool blue pumpkin. It still has a stem and it still has ribs. Pumpkins are really yummy for making treats. What kind of pumpkin treats have you had? You can make pumpkin bread. Your parents might like pumpkin coffee. Pumpkin seeds make a tasty snack if you bake them in the oven with your parents' help. Pumpkin cookies. And of course, our favorite, pumpkin pie. Pumpkins can also be used for fun activities, like making jack-o'-lanterns. A jack-o'-lantern is when you take a pumpkin and you cut shapes into the pumpkin to make a face or another picture, and then you put a candle or a light inside the pumpkin so it glows. Make sure your parents help you with this so that you can be safe. A lot of people like to put their jack-o'-lanterns by their front door so when people go trick-or-treating, they can see their cool jack-o'-lanterns. Let's do a little test. What are the parts of a pumpkin? Think about the name of this part. If you said stem, you're right. Think about the name of this part of the pumpkin. If you said skin, you're right. Think about the name of this part of a pumpkin, the lines going up and down. If you said ribs, you're right. Great job, boys and girls. Let's think about the inside of a pumpkin. Yes, there's the stem again. There's the skin again. And let's remember, what are those white things inside called? You're right, those are the seeds. That's how we grow new pumpkins. What is this part of the pumpkin called? It's the same word as an apple. 
pulp or flesh? If you guessed that, great job. How about these strings inside the pumpkin, those slimy strings? Think. If you said fibrous strands, you're correct. And how about this brown circle at the bottom of the pumpkin? What do we call that? Blossom end. If you guessed that, great job. That's where the flower dies and turns into a pumpkin. Now, let's see if we can remember the life cycle of a pumpkin. There are six parts. Think about the first part. If you said seeds, you're correct. We plant the seeds and they turn into, they grow into a sprout. Great job. The sprout grows and grows and turns into what? If you said vine, that's correct. Then something grows on the vine. What could that be? Yes, a yellow flower. What does the yellow flower turn into? If you said green pumpkin, that's correct. And the green pumpkin turns into? Yes, an orange ripe pumpkin. Ripe means that it's ready to pick. I'm so glad that you watched this presentation about pumpkins and how they grow and the different parts. Pumpkins are a really fun activity and we can make some yummy snacks with pumpkins. We love pumpkins.